What is it? I'm glad you asked that, sweetie bop. This right here is Chitlin' Note. Hello, this is Kev. This is Black Men Being Brutally Honest, and this scene was out of the show Martin. That, that was like, this was over 20 years ago. And that right there is Tracy Morgan. I first remember Tracy Morgan on a show called Uptown Comedy Club, where he actually had this character named Biscuit that was kind of done like the Roscoe character in Martin. You know, the little snot-nosed kid that Martin did. But uh, anyway, uh, Tracy Morgan, you know, a comedian, actor, uh, he, he, he's, he's done pretty well for himself. Uh, his level of comedian, you know, I think there are greater guys out there. He, he, he's, he's really not that funny to me. Uh, he was funny younger in his career. Uh, I think he spent some time on Saturday Night Live, too. Uh, but outside of that, you know, he, he, he's had a few movies here and there. Uh, he also had his television show, The Last OG. Uh, Last OG uh, was an okay show. Uh, had Tiffany Haddish in there and you know just, just and t like Tracy Morgan that's who he kind of remind me of as far as his comedy he kind of reminds me of a male Tiffany Haddish not really good in stand up but when he's behind when he when he's being pointed in a direction by a director you know by the right director then he can do a pretty good job uh, my favorite thing that I've seen Tracy Morgan in was Death at a Funeral uh, yeah, I thought Death at a Funeral was pretty funny. Um, anyway, uh, Tracy Morgan recently filed for divorce from his wife. Uh, his wife went in, filed first, and then the next day he filed. And, um, yes, and, um, looked like she tried to, it, it had been reported, uh, that she tried to get in on that $90 million settlement, uh, from Walmart, uh, what he had from Walmart when he had that accident. Uh, <laughs> It turns out that Tracy Morgan had a prenup in place. Uh, so basically, she don't get shit. <laughs> because, see, honestly, you know, uh, look, look at him. Like, eh, I can't really trust a bitch, you know. It's just, it's just, <laughs> real. Like, you know, I see it happen all the time. And, you know, prenup shit. You know, I would, I you know, just, just, I don't blame him. And it's a good thing because she was the one that filed. So, you know, he's a smart man. He also wants her to drop his last name, which, I mean, Morgan, to me, is a common enough last name to somebody, oh, you're Megan Morgan? Oh, Tracy Morgan, Megan Morgan? Uh, I mean, I don't think people are gonna do that. But, you know, hey, you know, I could be wrong. And um, she wants full custody of their daughter while he wants joint custody, which means that, hey, you know what? I'm not trying to take away your ability to see your child, but it's obviously that she's trying to spite him in some kind of way, which, you know, I, I guess, you know, trying to be petty about, you know, trying to have to, you know, maybe, you know, sleep with somebody that she wasn't all that attracted to for all these years. Because see, women think that just because they give up sex and they, you know, dedication, that they're owed some kind of monetary boost just because the man has money. Uh, nah, uh-uh, see, that's why y'all need to be trying to marry for love again. You know, maybe you'll run into a smart man like Tracy Morgan, <laughs> and maybe you'll marry for love so you won't have to worry about dragging what you can out of this man. But not to say that she doesn't have anything, but, you know, Tracy Morgan is the star, and he is the millionaire, so it's, it's pretty much uh, black and white right there. But um, anyway, um... Just, 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 just to, just to try to put some, shed some light on this because, hey, this is the second black male celebrity I've heard written recently that has been reported to have used a prenup. <laughs> uh, you know, with with a marriage gone south, and you know what? Maybe successful brothers need to start considering that a little bit more, seeing that these some of these attitudes out here are just plain. S H I T T Y. <laughs> yeah, cause it, it, I, I don't know, man. There, there's a such thing called a sack chaser. There's a such thing called a gold digger out there. And one of the discussions in these YouTube spaces that run rampant is, oh, they always call us gold digger. Uh, or these N words are broke. These N words are broke. Okay, this, this is why the instances like this is why. 
brothers are starting to throw more caution to the wind because she, Megan, Tracy's estranged wife, actually tried to get some shit out of him. So uh, kudos to Tracy Morgan. Uh, if you are a successful black man and you're not quite sure how she feels, but she wants to commit, get married and all that stuff, throw a prenup in her face. Remember Eddie Murphy, you know, on Raw, when he talked about uh, uh, Johnny Carson not signing that prenup? Yeah, see, tr people like Tracy Morgan heeded that warning right there. And obviously Dr. Dre did too. So anyway, enough, enough about me talking about a brother doing a smart thing. <laughs> All right, this is Kev, and this is Black Men Being Brutally Honest. Please like, share, subscribe. Long live the habitual line steppers. And Kev, we trust. Goodbye.